Hi, I'm Caleb from Schultz Ford, and today I'm in a Mustang Mach-E. This is part one of seven of our EV segment on what it's like owning one. Um, so in part one, I'm just going to go over some common terms that you'll hear with electric vehicles. So what's an EV? With EVs, you'll have a BEV, which is a battery electric vehicle, a PHEV, which is a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, and an HEV, which is a hybrid electric vehicle. So just breaking down the differences here, um, with a BEV, it's all battery, no gas engine. Um, PHEV is a battery and gas hybrid, as well as a HEV is a battery and gas hybrid. Um, with a BEV, you also get a charge port. So that charge port, that's like filling up your tank of gas. Um, you also will get regenerative braking. I'm not the best trawler, but this is your brake pedal here. When you press this brake pedal down, if you're pressing it lightly, it's going to send a message to your motor to become a generator. That generator will actually create power for your batteries. So this works on all EVs. That's plug-in hybrids, regular hybrids, and battery electric. If you are slamming on your brakes, then it's going to send a message to your hydraulic brakes to use those. Um, so regenerative braking, if you know how to use your brakes really well, can actually increase the longevity of your brake pads and rotors. Um, with the PHEV, you'll get a charge port and regenerative braking to power your battery. And then with a regular hybrid, there's no charge port, it just uses, uses the regenerative braking to charge your battery. So with the BEV, it's also a single speed transmission. So one gear, um, it's continual power. With a PEV, PHEV and an HEV, you'll get a modular hybrid transmission. So since you have a gas engine and an electric motor, you need a transmission that can alternate those um, or work together. So that's what each one of them will have. Let's talk about some charging terms. So I'm just gonna go over two today. Um, and again, I'm no electrician, but I'm gonna try to make them relevant to the EVs. Um, so there's amps and kilowatt hours. Amps being the f measure of the flow of electricity, kilowatt hours being the amount of energy stored. So if you look at this diagram, your charger being plugged in, this flow of electricity to the battery, um, that's gonna be measured in amps, and the size of the battery is gonna be measured in kilowatt hours. So if you look at a standard range Mach-E, you're gonna have about 70 usable kilowatt hours. Uh, I'll get a little bit more in depth about it when we get into the charging segment, um, but I just wanna give you a brief glimpse of a 32 amp charger compared to a 48 amp charger. So a 32 amp charger is gonna charge the battery at a rate of about 20 miles for every hour it's plugged in. 48 amp is gonna charge the battery about 28 miles for every hour it's plugged in. This one's gonna be real quick. I just wanna go over what an MPGE is. So you'll see it on the window sticker. MPGE means miles per gallon equivalent. So the EPA has rated that one gallon of gas in a regular ICE or internal combustion engine is equal to about 33.7 kilowatt hours of energy. So that'll come very important when we talk about the window sticker in the next part. So that's it for this week. I just wanted to go over some very general terms um, that are associated with EVs and give you an understanding that way when I dive deeper, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so next week we're gonna get into how to read an EV window sticker you know, how they calculate the annual fuel costs, what an MPG is um, in depth, and we are gonna do some calculations. So next week, schultzford.com.